Hi everyone, my name is Dale Smith. I'm the Dean of the College of Business Administration and it is with great enthusiasm and pride that I welcome you to our first virtual Beta Gamma Sigma induction ceremony. And as you all know, we would all have preferred to be in Hilton 100, but of course the upside, particularly for our students who are um, around the country and across the globe, this at least gives an opportunity for everybody's parents, friends, family um, to participate as well. So I always try to look for the upside of what we're doing. Anyway, next year, I hope we're back in Hilton 100, every reason to believe we will, but I'm just glad we can all be together in this space and I know we'll be back soon. So before we get started, just a couple of quick things. I want to thank my team, an amazing team who assisted in helping us organize this event this year. Nancy Donovan, Nola Wanta, Natalie Durdek, and Roberta Coleman. And now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, our Senior Director for Business Development and Strategy, Nola Wanta, who will just talk us through the tech and some of the things that will make this go smoothly. Thanks. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much, Dale, for the intro, and welcome to our students and family members to our Beta Gamma Sigma um, induction ceremonies. So um, just a couple of things for you all to know. So um, this can go smoothly, and the viewing is quite pleasant and nice. <laughs> Um, first off, I recommend that everyone um, utilize the speaker view option and you can toggle your view at the right hand corner. So you either have a gallery view or a speaker view. For today's events, I'd recommend using the speaker view. Um, also for our inductees and for all of our students, if you can please make sure that your name that's listed on the screen is your official name with the university. Um, this way, as we call you up, we are calling the correct person and the correct names and we can find you, um, hence the speaker view option. So um, please do a rename if you're using a nickname and, and whatnot. Um, and you can do that by either right clicking on your video or going into participants and selecting more and renaming. So that would be fantastic and will really help our navigators in the back. Um, Patricia Viner and Nancy Donovan call you up, so to speak, on the screen so we can take screenshots later. Um, there also will be instances where you will be asked to unmute, and this is for our inductees. And, and we'll do a countdown right before, so just please be sure to be paying attention to those moments because they might happen quickly and you'll just hear everyone unmuting. So we want to engage everyone at that point. And also, um, finally, we recommend for everyone's videos to be on. Um, we do understand that there may be some bandwidth issues and that's totally fine. However, for our inductees, when we do call you up uh, to the screen, if you can please un unmute your video. So um, one, we can see your lovely face, but also again, to do just a screenshot since we don't have official photographers, but we will be doing screenshots of you guys. So that is all for tech um, things. We'll also post a link um, for the Beta Gamma Sigma background that, um, that we've shared with you in the chat. So you can download that if you're able to have a background. And if not, that's totally okay. Uh, so with that, I'd like to turn it over back to Dean Smith. Thanks, Nola. This really is one of my absolute favorite events of the year because we are honoring some of our best students in the college. And it's great to see everybody here. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we may be as far away as Switzerland. Do we have a family from Switzerland here? Um, and of course, right here, LA in our backyard. Um, but this is a celebration of the college's best and brightest. Um, for many people who are wondering about Beta Gamma Sigma, I like to say it's the Phi Beta Kappa of AACSB accredited business schools. But before we celebrate our induction and begin, I'd like to welcome a very special guest to our event today. He's going to add his words of welcome to all of you. He's the provost of the university and my boss, um, Tom Poon. Tom, over to you. Thank you, Dean Smith. Good afternoon, students, faculty. I see some faculty, staff, families. I see families and of course our special guests. It's really my honor to welcome you on behalf of uh, President Snyder and the entire LMU academic community uh, to this very special occasion. You know, academic honor societies are a, a, a distinctive tradition in higher education and they recognize students who have excelled in a variety of fields um, and also uh, circumstances. Um, they nearly all require inductees to meet stringent standards 
including uh, academic excellence, impressive leadership, service, uh, and overall character. And Beta Gamma Sigma is no exception. I had a chance to visit the Beta Gamma Sigma membership website. And I must say it is one of the more impressive honor societies I have seen. So congratulations to all our inductees tonight. You honor us with your accomplishments and we continue to look forward to watching you soar both at LMU and beyond. Congrats again and enjoy the ceremony. Back to you, Dale. Thank you, Provost Poon. And now it's my pleasure to officially launch um, our ceremony today by introducing you to the director of CBA's Institute of Business Ethics and Sustainability, also a professor of management, our very own Jeff Thies, who will lead us in the invocation. Jeff, over to you. Thank you very much, Dean Smith. God of goodness and grace, thank you for this opportunity to celebrate the talents and accomplishments honoring the commitment to self-development represented and really embodied by our students. Commitment to becoming a whole person, intellectually, emotionally, anchored in wisdom, recognizing that that pursuit itself is profoundly sacred. Remind us that none of us stands alone, and each of us stands on the shoulders of those who have come before us and enable this journey. Parents, grandparents, teachers, friends, mentors, all whom we hold at this moment with profound and deep gratitude. Mm. Finally, help us always remember, in the words of the spiritual heritage of our university, to be women and men for others, understanding that our talents and gifts are meant to be forces not only for our own development, but for good. We ask this humbly. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Professor Thies. LMU's College of Business Administration is a proud member of the AACSB International, the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. I don't know how many of you know this, but less than 5% of the world's 16,000 business programs around the globe have earned accreditation. And we're so very proud to be a part of this elite group. Now founded back in 1913, Beta Gamma Sigma was the international honor society that served business programs that were accredited by AACSB International. Membership in Beta Gamma Sigma is the highest recognition a business student anywhere in the world can receive. So when we look at our students around us, recognize that their eligibility to join Beta Gamma Sigma puts our students in an elite group that's restricted to the top 10% of our undergraduate students and the top 20% of our graduate students here in the College of Business Administration. Beta Gamma Sigma and what we refer, fondly refer to as BGS, our lifetime members are considered the best of the best in business. Members of BGS currently reside in all 50 states more than 190 countries, and they go on to serve in critical leadership roles in corporate, entrepreneurial, government, nonprofit, and academic sectors. Notable members include Nobel Prize winners, Olympians, inventors, CEOs of major global companies, nonprofits, deans of the top business schools, and others who are making the world a better place. I am proud to be a member of BGS, as many of my colleagues are here today, and we'll even induct some faculty members today as well. Today, students, you're going to become members of this network. So being a lifetime member of BGS has its benefits. Hundreds of job postings are on the BGS job board, and these jobs are exclusively for Beta Gamma Sigma members. So parents, we are really committed to getting your kids off payroll. Have them check the job board. There are also BGS career resources, including career coaching, discounts on graduate school tests and publications, discounts on professional attire, a LinkedIn group, scholarships for grad schools and to attend the Global Leadership Forum. And those are just some of the benefits offered to members. But most importantly, being a part of BGS is a symbolic nod to your academic achievements and a commentary on what you have done here in the CBA. One of our traditions at CBA with Beta, Beta Gamma Sigma is to recognize and induct a distinguished alumnus who has not yet been inducted into the group. 
and demonstrated professional and inspiring achievements themselves and asked them to address our community here in the BGS ceremony. This afternoon, we will recognize our alumni honoree, Karen Rousey. Before bringing Karen up here to speak, let me tell you a little bit of the highlights of her professional success. She is a 2011 graduate of our executive MBA program, and she is the head of technology strategy North America at ThoughtWorks. She's also considered the world's number one expert on the Evolve team as she was featured in Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneur, Forbes, and Success. Her work as a chief technology officer and transformational digital leader have helped executives solve the most critical and strategic challenges facing companies today. As a certified coach, strategy advisor, and a certified change management expert, she has delivered undeniable results, transforming leaders, teams, and organizations for such clients as Apple, Google, Target, the Ritz-Carlton, Zappos, Amazon, and others. She is the author of an upcoming book and podcast entitled Unlock Your Team's Genius, Create Sustained Engagement, Extraordinary Performance, and Profitability. So please join me in a CBA round of applause as we introduce to you all Kieran Rousey. Kieran, I turn it you, speaker view to you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm flattered to be asked to have been the speaker for this wonderful and hard earned occasion. I congratulate each of you and your family. Your achievements in the realm of scholarship, leadership, community service and character are being honored here tonight by your induction into this prestigious honor society. An honor such as this is a wonderful way for LMU, CBA, and the community at large to recognize, celebrate the choices and sometimes the sacrifices that you all have made in achieving this accomplishment. I believe that what should make you most proud is not actually the honor itself, but what it took for you to get it. Graduating at the top of your class, no small feat. Pulling some all-nighters, I imagine putting team success ahead of your individual success during a group project, saying no probably multiple times to something you would maybe rather be doing because you didn't want to let your teammates down. The requirements for membership of this society in which you have excelled far exceed the academic rigor required. They speak to the importance of a few really important, I think, key themes, one of which is continued development of its members and lifelong learning. The second is fostering an enduring commitment to the founding principles and values around honor, integrity, pursuit of wisdom, earnestness, and service. Connecting members to each other and future opportunities, as well as igniting passion for excellence in business leadership so that members can change the world of business for good. These characteristics were not chosen at random. In fact, I believe they're at the core of a fulfilled and fulfilling life. They're at the heart of what will separate you from the rest, courageous, moral, and values-based leaders. I wanna pause for a second and just give you an opportunity to focus and reflect on your journey. What did you learn about yourself? What values has this experience reinforced for you? When you think about what you wanna to contribute to this honor society, LMU, CBA, your organization, and the world at large, I want you to think about the importance of aligning your choices to your values. In fact, I have a challenge for you to practice doing just that. And Dale, as a coach, I couldn't resist this opportunity. <laughs> I want you to write down your top three values. And for the next 30 days, this is probably the hardest part, before checking your devices, read them to yourself each morning. And then ask yourself, what do I wanna to contribute to my organization today? What do I wanna to contribute to the world today? And who do I need to show up as for myself and others to achieve my greater purpose and be of service to those that I lead? You see, the course of our lives, where we are today and where we could be in the future, they aren't really dictated by three to five, say, major choices that we've made or will make in the course of our life. The important thing to remember is that where we end up is the sum of many individual choices that we make each day. To that end, I encourage you to slow down just enough 
to create experiences in both your personal and your professional life that help build your legacy. You can't do this while you're on autopilot. You can't do it when you're distracted or unable to be present. In fact, the only way to achieve your greater purpose is to stay conscious. And in my experience, take small, very intentional actions every day guided by your values. A focus on values-based education and education of the whole person is what brought me to LMU and made my experience as a student and continued involvement as an alumni so special and important. My time in the executive MBA program taught me many things that have contributed to my success. Beyond the skills one needs as a business leader, it helped me to reinforce my own values. It helped me to align opportunities to my greater purpose. And it showed me what amazing things are possible when you bring your true authentic self to the table as a leader. Being here with all of you today reminds me of what it took to achieve the results I have and to be of service to others. And I didn't even have to do it during a global pandemic. <laughs> so I applaud you for that as well. I had an atypical path to success. I was adopted. I moved to the United States when I was 18 months old. I grew up in middle-class family. I was an athlete. I was even challenged with an undiagnosed learning disability and struggled academically for a while. My parents, late sister and grandparents were my heroes and always worked tremendously hard. My mom grew up in Alabama, very poor, no running water, not even an indoor toilet. She skipped two grades, was a National Merit Scholar, did a triple major in college, was a Woodrow Wilson Fellow to Harvard, even got her PhD in three years before she was 26. She's the pioneer of the field of early literacy and childhood development and has dedicated her career to helping low-income school districts. My dad was an actor and a musician here in Los Angeles. He became a chef, even had his own restaurants in Chicago. Now he's a therapist working on programs that impact the lives of children and their families in New York City. My grandfather was a city planner, a philanthropist, and a wood sculptor and a huge supporter of the arts in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where I went to college. My grandmother, also a therapist, saving lives, families, and several marriages um, in her hometown as well. And finally, my late sister, a pioneer in the field of women in engineering. All of this is proof that life happens in chapters. While the chapters may feel unrelated, they aren't, and I'll tell you how in a moment. When I was a kid, I found myself getting in trouble for doing things that were different, being creative and sticking up for others. Thankfully, I had always been resilient, self-directed and confident in who I was. I knew what I wanted and I went after it, although you know, not without some challenges and setbacks along the way. I started and sold my first business in high school. Following in my sister's footsteps, I developed a couple patents. I began a successful real estate investment trust in high school where we donate proceeds to different charities and academic institutions, such as this one. At 30, I rose to the level of being a CTO, running and consulting for Fortune 100 global companies. And early on, decided to join the service and I spent 20 years in the military in search and rescue working events like 9-11 and the Boston Marathon bombing. Accolades aside, the lessons I learned during each of these experiences were invaluable and challenged me in ways that are important to who I am and how I approach the world. Those seemingly unrelated chapters I spoke about earlier, they're not actually unrelated at all. They were chapters of many people's lives who chose to do what they are passionate about, who chose to live by their values and be a force for good for others. So while I've had to persevere, create opportunities for myself, and in some cases, worked doubly hard to get recognized. I did it with an unwavering commitment to my values and to helping others be recognized, celebrated and successful in the process. I check off, I would say many of the uh, politically charged boxes, right? I'm female, I'm a minority, I'm gay and I'm a veteran. I'm not who you'd probably typically see getting a seat at the table as a board member or having the opportunity to run a multi-billion dollar global enterprise as a CTO. That kid who used to get in trouble for standing up for others channeled that energy into being a force for good. So why am I telling you all of this? So that you can be conscious of holding the door open for others too. So that if you have more privilege than others, 
others. You don't just use it to get ahead yourself, but to take others on the journey with you. To be the voice for those who are oftentimes go unheard. To be an advocate for those who need it most. Is it easy or popular? No. But neither is having the moral courage to despite adversity and personal risk to act upon your ethical values to help others. I have publicly stood up for others facing discrimination, even when it meant I might get fired. I've returned bonuses to be given to people who needed it more. I've forgone salary increases during times of crisis, crisis during this last pandemic, when it meant keeping everybody else employed. And I've been called to make difficult decisions, putting people before profit. Do the hard stuff. If it were easy, it wouldn't be so important that we do it. When you think about what it'll take to succeed in a post-pandemic business world, when you think about the challenges that you'll face, never lose sight of your values. Use moral courage as a guiding force for good and keep asking those around you how you can support them to be successful. While the pandemic brought on much volatility, uncertainty, and discomfort, it also brought a wealth of opportunities, a chance to be creative, a chance to reinvent or reaccelerate goals. All this to say, remember that you are on a journey, both internally and externally, that will lead you to a new growth and a new kind of wholeness. There are times that it might be a journey that you didn't want and that you didn't expect, but it's a journey nonetheless. Think of it that way. I think unprecedented circumstances are able to bring newness and opportunity if we're open to it. Years ago, when I worked 9-11, I had 48 hour shifts of digging bodies up and reuniting them with their families. There was a lot of devastation, destruction, and a lot of darkness. But through the ash that was a part of my experience, new life emerged, new buildings were erected and nourished by the very ash that brought that destruction. I feel like this pandemic in a lot of ways is very similar, a powerful image of the cycle of life. Your induction into this honor society, a powerful representation of the circle of your own life. Be a person of hope and trust your goodness. There are lessons to be learned in all of these circumstances and everything that you've just experienced, values to reinforce, and the importance of taking care of yourself and others with tenderness and patience. Each day, seek hope and honor hope and watch the buds of a new life form. Who knows what's waiting for you at the end of this journey? We've seen people and businesses turn upside down during this time, many of whom have risen to the occasion and been challenged to reinvent themselves, not just to survive, but thrive. Take every opportunity you have to ask tough but important questions that challenge yourself and those around you to lead with moral courage. Listen to understand before being understood. Open your heart to the voices that will speak to you with wisdom and honor. And as Jeff reminded me when I was in school and he was my professor, through each of these steps, operate from your best self so that you can be proud of yourself when each of these steps have ended. Thank you. Karen, thank you so very much. As, as I was listening to your words, um, our mission for the College of Business Administration came out so loud and so clear. It's more than just advancing knowledge and developing business leaders. It's the, the point that you made, leading with moral courage and creative confidence to be a force for good in a global community. Those words of our mission really were, were thematic throughout your remarks. And I wanna thank you for sharing your powerful story to inspire all of us. So congratulations on being selected as our alumni honoree for 2021. I'm pleased to officially welcome you into Beta Gamma Sigma. Um, if we were sitting on the stage or standing on the stage in Hilton 100, I'd be asking one of my colleagues to hand me a beautiful framed plaque that we would then present to you. And then the official photographer would take that picture. Since we can't do that, I think we're going to do a quick picture of you and me, the speaker view um, without the frame. But so we'll just have that as a memento of today. Do I have that right? That, is, that is correct. Um, so, if you can spotlight Kieran, please, and then I will take the photo. I'm your official photographer, by the way, everyone. So <laughs> do 
did you do up oh, perfect here we go one two three fantastic thank you so that's great now everybody will have an idea of how this is going to happen um it's now my pleasure as mc for this afternoon's event to introduce my colleague professor larry calbers who is the chad dreyer chair in accounting ethics he's also our associate dean of faculty and academic initiatives I finally refer to him as the Associate Dean of all things um, in the college here, and he'll share with us the BGS principles and proceed with the recognition of our newest members. Over to you, Professor Cowers. Okay, thanks so much, Dale. First, let me thank Karen for telling us her story and for her relevant and useful insights about values, purpose, and the importance of our daily choices, many of them hard choices, about how we want to live our lives and building our moral courage. So thanks again, Karen. And of course, congratulations to all of you students who will be inducted today. And thank you to your parents and family for their support. And also the faculty and staff at LMU that work with you to help you work towards your academic and professional success. So if you've been invited to become a member of Beta Gamma Sigma, as you have shown an aptitude for business studies and uh, have demonstrated your work ethic and determination, this event is a testament to your hard work and we are honored to have you join us as a new member. The mission of this International Honor Society is to encourage and honor academic achievement in the study of business, to foster personal and professional excellence, and to advance the values of the society. Beta Gamma Sigma was founded on a set of three principles, which serve as pillars for everything the society does. Each principle is represented by a Greek word, these words coincide with the initials of the society, and I'd like to share these principles with you now. Beta is the, uh, the initial letter of the Greek word babios, which signifies honor. Honor is defined as personal integrity, as well as excellence of character. It's a prerequisite for those who lead others. It also encourages altruism and enlightened social responsibility and service. Gamma is the initial letter of the Greek word Gnosis, which signifies wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge tested by experience and tempered by discerning judgment. It avoids prejudice and insists on freedom of thought and expression. Those who are wise seek a better comprehension and a more fruitful application of what is known. They engage in a continuous quest for understanding. Sigma is the initial letter of the Greek word spude, which signifies earnestness. Earnestness is enthusiasm measured by achievement, reason, and sincerity. It is that dynamic quality which is essential for all great achievements. Individuals who reflect earnestness inspire confidence, invite action, and generate progress. The symbol of the beta gamma sigma is the key. For those of you who remember, you may have noticed the key statue outside the Hilton building. Uh, I hope we can uh, touch that on our way back into Hilton when we come back to campus soon. This symbol also represents our ideals of honor, wisdom, and earnestness, and is inscribed with the Greek letters, which represent the society's name. We'd now like to recognize each of our inductees individually, starting with our undergraduate honorees. I'll call uh, names in groups of somewhere around five, five or six -ish. And as I call your name, your image will appear on the screen. Once we hit five or six honorees, We'll pause for a quick uh, Zoom screenshot. So I'm going to start with our sophomores. And our first uh, group, first is Catherine Jade Dia, Eleanor Foster, Emily Mariko Shu, Madison Lenore Irwin, and Piper Elizabeth Manros. Okay, I think we have everyone. So here we go, congratulations. One, two, three. Awesome, thank you. Great. And our second group of sophomores, McKenna Matram, Alane Lahua Park, Caitlin Lialani Park, Ryan Smith, Maya Devi The Raising Gam, and Amanda Wallian.
for everyone to pop up. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be highlighted quite yet. Sorry, Madison. Slow down, people. Slow down. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. Okay. Patty, is this it? Nancy? Okay, well, one, two, three. You guys all look lovely. Oh, Ryan's here. Okay, hold on. Uh, now, hold on. Things are jumping around here, so it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with us. Okay, so see Mackenzie. McKenna. McK McKenna. Okay. Caitlin, Ryan, and okay. Pauline. Okay, one, two, three. You guys look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will move on to juniors. Okay, Hoffman. slow down. We have, to, we have to remove people first. So okay. Give us, give us a sec, okay? Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. All right, now on to the juniors. <laughs> <laughs> Hoffman Alhoffman, William Stephen Barnett, Sophia Leslie Booth, Amy Marie Chow and Mason Cooney. Hoffman is not here. William Barrett is here. Hoffman is not here. Sophia is not here. Amy's here. Oh, hi, William. <laughs> Okay, I think that's everyone that's here. Hi, Amy. All right, ready? Big smile. One, two, three. Awesome. Thank you. It's just unfortunate that I'm in the picture of all these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so, another group of juniors Jane Corscotten, Derek Goodman, Ashley J. Stacy Leon and May L. Marks. I should do this, uh, remember Marie and Hilton, we would be taking time for them to walk up to the stage, so. All right, ready? One, smile, one, two. Wait, 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 we need to add oh. Stacy. Oh, sorry, Stacy. There we go. There we go. All right, do it again. One, two, three. Love how you caught that, Stacy. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay, another group of juniors. Hold the phone. And I will, I shall wait. <laughs> yes, you shall wait. <laughs> okay, Larry. I try to do as I am told. <laughs> the virtual stage, you have to give people time. Correct. <laughs> as they go back into the ether of uh, connectivity. Okay, so another group of juniors, Faith Nishimura, Valerie Olivia, Jake Pappas, Brendan Park, and Harrison Joseph Perino. Ladies, do we have others? Yes. Okay. Um, Faith is not here. Brenton Park. There we go. Fantastic. Y'all look fantastic. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, y'all look great. Thank you. Okay, another group of juniors. Kirsten M. Perkins. Emily Quesada. 
Juan Carlos Roxas. Oganis Vargan. Christopher R. Wilson. And Daniel Marco Zani. Giovanni, let's see. Patty, I may have lost Larry. Uh oh. So we have Juan, Christopher, Giovanna. And we need Larry back on the stage, please. There he is. Is this everybody? Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Ready? Hold the phone. Hold, wait, one second. Nola, I'm sorry. We have missed okay. Emily. Thank you all for sitting in the chat message. Emily and also Daniel. Daniel Sani. Sorry about that, Emily. Emily. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> There's and a lot of names on our participant list today. Daniel, we still need Daniel. Oh, I thought I put him on there. There you go. There we go. Fantastic. Great shot. Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three, big smiles. And one more. Awesome, thank you. Okay, we ready for the next list? Yes. yes. Larry, okay. if you put yourself on speaker view, you'll be able to see who pops up on the screen with you. All right. I am on speaker view. Perfect. Okay. So uh, starting now with our seniors, Rima Fares Almalik. Olivia Del Bledsoe. Alyssa Babich, Arjun Didi, Arjun isn't here. Okay, and Marie Lynette Rose McCarthy. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, at, at ladies, are these our, our candidates? I think so. Okay, so ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Great, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your patience, Marie. <laughs> Okay, Larry. So before we go on, I just want to show you my pre-COVID self. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now we continue with uh, more seniors. Michelle Mershokri. I, I don't see her here. Giovanna Poisel. Kenzie Ross, Alana Ver, uh, excuse me, Alana von der Schmissen, and Carl Weirin. Hey everyone, I think this is it. Ready? One, two, three. Love the big smiles. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, next are our uh, EMBAs, and we have three. First. Uh, wait, uh, wait, Larry, before um, we have missed somebody, Helen Vidal. Can we get Helen spotlighted so we can get a picture of Helen and Larry? Helen. Yes, please. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Larry's spotlight went away. Lost Larry again. Not a problem. Where are you? Larry? Keep <laughs> jumping around. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Oh, I like this one on one. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay, now on to our uh, executive MBA group. Tori Anderson Shope. Jason M. Dihani and Anna Valadaris. Jason is not here. I see Anna. I do not see Anna. Anna is also not here. Well, we have another one on one here. I guess it'll just be me and Tori. Nice. One, two, three. Fantastic, thank you. And before you move on, Larry, we've got Ethan Frisani. Thanks to the parents who are picking up on yes. some of the tech glitches. We'll get everybody's picture here. There we go, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. All right. Congratulations, Ready? Ethan. One, two, three. Awesome, thank you. Okay, on to our uh, MSBA, which is our Master of Science in Business Analytics. Okay. Wait, Larry, Oops. before we go to MSBA, we missed Connor Fletkin. Is there anyone else that we've missed? Um, please uh, put your name in the chat and we'll get, uh, we'll finish up all of our undergrads other than Connor. So all these additional people are lucky enough to have a photo with just me. <laughs> Photo off with the associate dean. Ready? One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Amanda Wallen. Hold on, let me get her. Amanda. You'll have company. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate your patience. Yeah. Anyone else before we snap the picture? Um, Arjun. Arjun. Edie. Arjun. Um. Awesome. Anyone else? All right, well, let's do this. Ready? Big smiles. One, two, three. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. And now MSBA. Yes. Again, thanks for uh, making sure we get everybody included. So we have two MSBA students. Our first is Case Du Bunny Kiewitz. Who? I've, I've got so the last name is B-U-N-I-K. You skipped this actually. You skipped. Oh, sorry. I, I skipped MBAs. Skipped MBAs. All right. Everything's just falling apart. I'm going to start over with it's okay. MBAs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go with the, the MBAs. We have four of those. Uh, uh, well, it's a group of MBAs and an MSA. So first is Marianne uh, Adronsom. Farzan Hosini, Madison Kate Weber, and Mary Thin Kiyu. Mary Thin is not here. All right. So hello, MBAs. It's good to see you all. I'm ready. Big smiles. One, two, three. Fantastic, thank you so much. At least I haven't uh, named the wrong uh, Academy Award <laughs> movie of the year. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Let's move on. Uh, so where are we? We're on? MSBA. MSBA, okay. So we're gonna try uh, Case Do Bunny Kiewitz again. And Mark. Kikoa Mahuna. And Mark is not here. Okay, you got a one-on-one -on -one here. Ready? One, two, three. 
Awesome. Thank you. All right. On to our MS in management students. We have four. Caitlin Nicole Cameron. Emma Camille Dowd. Emma's not here. Okay. Forrest Spoon Sadlin. And Allison Weinstock. Hello, MSM students. It's good to see you all again. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, big smiles. Love the smiles, thank you. And unless uh, we have any other students out there waiting, I think that's all of our students. Give a couple seconds to see if there's any other students. So here uh, we have heard the principles which members of Beta Gamma Sigma endorse and strive to uphold honor, wisdom, and earnestness. Will you accept these principles as your own? So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to count to three. At the count of three, I want you to unmute. So get ready. And when you unmute, I want you to say, I will, in, in a very courageous, moral courage voice. <laughs> You got that? So one, two, three, unmute. I will. I will. I will. All right, not too bad. <laughs> Thanks so much. So in recognition of your accomplishments and of your pledge to the high ideals, each of you will receive a key of Beta Gamma Sigma. This key is a symbol of the ideals of honor, wisdom, and earnestness, which you have accepted. For those graduating in May, we will mail your key along with your certificate to your home. The others can pick up your items in Hilton once we're all back on campus. Again, congratulations to each of you. And I'll now turn it back over to Dean Smith, who will recognize our BGS faculty and staff honorees. Thank you so much, Larry. I appreciate it. And again, students, congratulations. We're so excited to have you join all of us as BGS members. So each year, we also select a few faculty and staff to be inducted as BGS honorees to signify the contributions they have made that go above and beyond in the College of Business Administration. Today, we have five honorees among our faculty and staff who I am particularly proud to call my colleagues. Roberta Coleman, Senior Director of Advancement and Development for the CBA. Grace karak Marketing and Communications Manager in Graduate Business Programs. Andy Rahm, Professor of Marketing and Co-Director of RM School. Professor Jeff Thies, Professor of Management and Director of the Institute for Business Ethics and Sustainability. And Si Jun Wang, the Chair and Professor, Department of Marketing and Business Law. Andy, start your video. I can't pin you if you don't. Makes me very nervous when our faculty and staff can't, uh, aren't paying attention here. <laughs> I don't see, he's not. Um... Anyway, moving along. Is CJ not here? here. And CJ's not here. All right, so give me a moment. Just, okay. Ready? One, two, three big smiles. Oh, and there's Andy. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Thank you all. And that'll be two keys, one for Andy's dog. <laughs> all, you have heard the, uh, so I'm going to ask all of our faculty and staff members who we are inducting today. Same routine that Professor Calbers did. You've heard the principles which members of Beta Gamma Sigma endorse and strive to uphold, honor, wisdom, and earnestness. Will you accept these principles as your own? If so, on the count of three, unmute yourself and answer, I will. One, two, three. I, I will. will. Well done, well done. Definitely redeemed. Um, we're just about at the end of our program. I know that Nola wants to come back on and get some group shots of all of the inductees, so she'll give directions for that. But before we do that, I wanna just thank everybody here from around the world, across the county, across the United States and the globe 
for participating in our Beta Gamma Sigma induction ceremony.